Howdy partner. So you wanna learn how to make some super easy burnt ends? Well, you're in luck, we're gonna show you today. Today, we're gonna to make some barbecue burnt ends, which is part of a brisket, the point cut, on this Pit Boss portable tabletop pellet grill. We have a bunch of videos on this pellet grill and different barbecue recipes. So if you wanna check those out, go hit the subscribe button. Also, appreciate the thumbs up. Any questions you got, put them in the comment box. I'll get right back to you. So if you come on over here and check this out, we've got the Pit Boss pellet grill here heating up and you see there's a little pellet tray here. It's got a heating element, an auger, and it comes out. And that's just going ahead and getting us ready for this delicious barbecue. So how do we make this? This is an easy recipe that you can definitely accomplish on this small, smaller pellet grill. If you want to do an entire brisket on this grill, that is possible as well. You have to use a top tray and a bottom tray and kind of split it. But today, we're just going to go ahead and use this bottom tray. So what we did is we took a brisket and we separated the point and the flat. This is the point. Basically, what you do is you take out the brisket. You're going to have a fat line. Gently cut through that fat line. And then once you cut and separate the point from the flat, you want to trim off excess fat so you keep that fat layer no thicker than a quarter inch. And that'll do okay. It's a beautiful morning here. A little chilly. Dogs are barking, so uh, stay on with me. So right here, we're preheating our grill. We're going to put it at a 225. Now, you can cook this at 250 if you're in a bit of a hurry. But at 225, we'll have this done in about, probably about 10 hours or so is my guess. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go fat side on the top and we're going to set it down we rubbed this brisket already with salt pepper and garlic powder and by rubbing it with the salt pepper and garlic powder it's going to get something for that smoke to stick to so just liberally apply those three kind of rub them in both sides of the meat on the fat you're going to set it at 225 you want to put in a meat probe thermometer if your pit boss didn't come with a meat probe i'll link this one in the description and just kind of stick it in the thickest part of the meat. It is recommended that your meat get to uh, room temperature before you throw it on here, but that's not really necessary. Also, if you um, have a chance, go ahead and let this sit with the salt, pepper, and garlic powder for about half an hour. So we're at 225. We're gonna get this smoking for about probably six to eight hours until it gets to about 165. And then if we're home, we're gonna wrap it up and let it finish up to 195 before we chop it up and put it into some sauce. So again, this is not an exact science. If you wanna go to 250, you can speed up the cook. This brisket originally was about 12 pounds, 11, 12 pounds. So this piece here is probably about five trimmed. Um, so again, I'm thinking about six hours. If we have a chance to wrap it up, we will. We got some places to go today. Gotta to go to Pumpkin Patch, but hopefully we'll have time to do it. So again, pretty easy. Give me some delicious burnt ends. Stay tuned and we'll be right back with you. All right, well, we're pushing about five hours and we just hit internal temperature at 165. We're getting a nice bark on the outside here. Now we're about to run out for a few hours, so I'm gonna lower temperature at 200, which won't hurt it at all, but I do not want it cooking too much. So again, we're at 225 for about uh, the first five hours or so. Now we're at 165 internal. So we're gonna take this off. And when we take this off, we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice bath in you can just spritz with water or what i like to do is took some water with some apple cider vinegar and then some sweet barbecue sauce and just kind of give it a liberal coating here what this will do is this will help to stay really moist while it is in this foil or butcher paper and will also help it to um steam a little bit which will help to soften up and tenderize that meat so just go ahead and give it a nice coating of that mop sauce then again, you can cover it up. You don't need to tighten this too tight. And you take a second piece of foil. Now right now, this meat is not tender enough for those delicious burnt ends, but it will be in just a few hours. So you got it packaged up. We're gonna throw it back on the pit boss, plug in the temperature probe again, and then we're gonna keep it until it gets to 195. So stay tuned. Again, I turned it down. You could turn it down, turn it up. Just stay in that 200, 250 range. We're gonna take a while, run out, come back and see how it's doing. Keep on watching. Okay, we are now at about the eight and a half hour mark. Our meat is right at 195 degrees. 
which was the temperature that we were going for in the internal. But we're gonna go ahead and take it off and get it ready to make it into the burnt ends. So we've done well. In terms of pellets, a lot of times I get questions on pellets. You can see the pellet hopper here is barely even dented. After all that time, there's a ton of pellets left. So very conservative on the pellets here. Now, if we take off this meat, we will see, I'm gonna open it up on here. Oh, it smells really, really good. Very moist. We're gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna chop it up and get ready for burnt ends. We're gonna let it sit for just about 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, so the meat has rested for just a few minutes. And now we've sliced it into one inch thick slices. You can see this is super juicy brisket. You got a nice smoke ring here. And what we wanna do is we wanna cut this into one inch cubes that we're then going to soak into a sauce. So the sauce that we made, and everyone does these a little different, but for our burnt ends, we went ahead and mixed a sweet uh, barbecue sauce with a little extra brown sugar, and then just a little bit of red wine, or sorry, uh, apple cider vinegar. So. Again, it's about a cup of a sweet barbecue sauce, maybe another quarter cup of brown sugar, make it extra sweet to caramelize, and then maybe a quarter cup of, of vinegar because I like that vinegar taste. To just taste this before it goes in, now it's gonna taste even better once it's in there, but let me see how it's going. Oh yeah, that's a good start. We're gonna go ahead and tender up some more inside there. So we're gonna chop all this up into one inch pieces, put it in there, should be good to go. Stay tuned. Well, it's all chopped up. Tastes really good. <laughs> I did eat a few pieces while we were chopping it up. And we're gonna go ahead now and dump all these burnt ends that have, they're all pretty much got some level of the nice bark on them. We're gonna put them into this barbecue sauce mixture with that extra sugar and everything that should caramelize really nicely. And we're gonna do them again at 225. If you went down at all, put it back up there and do it 225, you're in a hurry, 250 for one to two hours. And that should help this to really soak up and just really fall apart. You want them to maintain their shape as cubes. Sorry, dogs. <laughs> they like the food too. All right, and then uh, you just kind of mix it up, get them nice and coated as you can see here. Looking really, really good. And with this little Pit Boss Tabletop Pellet Grill, it can do a big meal like this. I mean, this is a lot of meat for probably uh you know could easily feed eight people no problem and uh no issue at all so put it back up here not gonna need your internal thermometer anymore just set it up in the center on your half sheet pan close it down i'm gonna go 250 and we're gonna check it in about an hour we're almost done and i can't wait to finish this off and we are finished these burnt ends are looking just great. I took some off right here just to cool off a little bit a second ago. You can see they're still steaming hot, but this is gonna taste like barbecue candy. Again, to run you through very simply what we did, we cooked these at 225 for about 10 hours. That's basically all it is. 225, same temperature, about 10 to 12 hours. You're gonna cook it originally until you got the, you got the point part of the brisket, cook it, until it gets to enter on 165. If you can, wrap it up, cook again till 195, then chop it up, then go ahead and add it to some barbecue sauce and finish it for another hour or two. That's it, very simple. So we've got this great, nice caramelized burnt end here. It's super tender, pulls apart. Oh, that is good. I just like barbecue candy. Thanks for tuning in, Mr. Craig's How To. Be sure to like, comment, most important, subscribe. Remember all these videos, if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching.